Should I fast during the first nine days of Dhul Hijjah? Now this depends if you are either a Hajji, a pilgrim performing Hajj, or you're at home. Now, if you're at home, it is highly rewardable to fast for those first nine days. If you can't fast for those first nine days, at least everyone should endeavor to fast on the ninth of Dhul Hijjah, known as Yawm Arafah. The reward is immense. And we're fasting because we can't be there. We want to be as devout as we can without having the opportunity of performing Hajj. Now Allah Ta'ala mentions the blessed ten nights in the Qur'an. Um, a lot of the interpretations mention that those blessed ten nights are referring to the last ten nights of Ramadan. But many of the classical scholars mention that they are indeed referring to the first ten nights of Dhul Hijjah. So, Keeping that in mind, we should try and fast during the first nine days of Dhul Hijjah. Obviously, we can't fast ten days because the tenth of Dhul Hijjah is going to be Eid Al Adha. So it's impermissible to fast on Eid Al Adha. Rather, we must participate and be festive during that day. However, if you are in the state of Ihram, if you are performing your Hajj, bear in mind that you will enter into the state of Ihram of Hajj. Um, either just before Yawm Tarwiyah, the 8th of the Hijjah, or prior to that. Regardless, one should avoid fasting if they are a pilgrim. Technically speaking, you could fast before you enter into the state of Ihram or before you commence the days of Hajj, but it is not recommended to do so because you want to keep your energy up, you want to be strong so that you can go and perform Hajj. And during Hajj, one should not fast follow us and subscribe now on all things hajj and umrah